Russ plays anything that is. You know me. Challenge shots fired. We see Pit again. Pit being the main choice lately. All right. The first match, best of five, grand finals here. We got Filthy against the Heavenly Pit here. It starts off. Oh, very nice read from Russ here. Nice. An early 30% for Russ. I've seen Barnitz Fox though. He is very good. He's got this fast fall down air is very good into those up tilts. See, just like that, he's back. I'm gonna hop on the commentary here. All right, we got Captain Cheek. Barnitz is is this game one? This is game one. We got Barnitz on the Fox and we got Russ on the Pit. Do we have any Taco Del Mar? Oh, we have some more Taco Del. <laughs> The cheese is probably too cold now, but... Best match ever, but the only thing I can... Oh, wow. Nice forward smash. Kills Filthy. Was that Filthy? Kind of. Great. It's a very good match, but I can't help but think about a nice Mondo burrito from Taco Del Mar. Shout out to Taco Del Mar. Get me some burritos, son. <laughs> oh. Russ knowing Fox very well. Oh. That might be enough. Oh no, Filthy gets back. <laughs> I think when you know the uh, like opponent's character really well, yeah. you have a big advantage because you know what they're going to do. Yeah, and Dylan likes to encompass quite a few characters, in all honesty. Yeah. Not the really high tier ones, though. He seems... <laughs> yeah. I give him respect because he plays the characters he likes, not the characters that are good. Yeah. Not like Sheik mains. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the feels... salt is real, my friends. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on? We got. Oh, it smells like breadsticks up in here. Anyways, we got Fox coming back. Filthy. Nobody's getting the balloons, and it is driving me OCD crazy. I've got Taco Del Mar all over my shirt, and I couldn't be more proud. Oh, Russ, giving up most of his recovery to get that balloon. I have nothing but mad respect for this kid. Check him out one day, he's gonna be world famous botanist. And he started here, TRU, Smash Club. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised he's not playing more Olimar. I don't know what the genus name is, but Dwarf Mistletoe, look it up. Dylan, second expert in the world behind Sidney Ross Friedman. Yeah. Honors project coming soon, TM. Oh, he's got that fox with that. Running up. We don't text those. <laughs> <laughs> what is I don't play Fox, but I see that a lot. They're running up, up smash. You can just, it's just down air to up smash. If the person misses the tech on the ground, it's guaranteed. Wow. Fox wow. being so highly because technical. If you're not mashing those right buttons on your controller, you are dead, son. GG. <laughs> yeah. And we got alternate Falcon skin here. We didn't go for Captain Caramel or Captain Empathy, <laughs> which is sad to see. Oh, who's playing Falcon? Oh. We got Filthy Falcon here. Filthy Love Falcon. the alliteration. The Fierce Filthy Falcon from the Philippines. Is that, is that the default skin? No, that's actually an alternate. It's he's slightly different shades of the same thing. It's like, uh, it's like 50 it's like shades of saturated Falcon. Yeah, it's 50 shades of Falcon here. <laughs> You know he's gonna go for that in close grab and he's gonna do those naughty things. He's See, like Mr. That, Falcon. He, he's a little bit different, but you don't yeah. really understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite Falcon skin, but you've probably never heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> that back air. I'm really. Oh, oh wow, very nice. Russ like has a very good way of spacing his attacks where he gets just the tip. Everybody loves just the tip. Oh, oh, the, oh Falcon, nice. the Falcon humped to oh, death. I, I actually think he would have died there because I saw him fast fall and I didn't think he'd recover, but he actually oh. grabbed He could, he could oh, we almost saw a filthy death there. Going for that knee of justice, or as they call it in the uncultured circles, the knee strike. <laughs> but he gets the judgment elbow instead up to those filthy up tilt. Oh, it's not an up tilt, that's an up air. Oh my! Oh. oh, baby! Another anal clencher right there. <laughs> my god. That sour knee. That was a knee strike. That wasn't a 
knee of justice. The thing with Falcon is he's really aerial and I think I Pitt's know, a little bit more. I feel like Pitt's pretty neutral compared to uh, Falcon. The Pitt will poke and poke and poke and then you make a mistake he's and Russ knows how to get that. Oh. If he can get I one. I wish I had the short hopping skill though. Oh, oh baby. That Falcon back air really is good. just it will fist you, and so it game, did. Game three, we'll see if. As I... you can see, there is a slight change in the color of Captain Falcon. <laughs> we might actually have to rotate through the skins just to show everyone this. Are we gonna have a character change? We got oh, pit God. pit. Oh, we got no, no. we got tacky pit versus regular pit. That's seventies pit actually. Yeah. Dark That's so pit. pit. That's so pit. <laughs> <laughs> We're even Simone over here. I love his little purple leg warmers. <laughs> he has this orange in there too. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Tark again. Yeah, but looks exactly like a festy angel. <laughs> what? The the girls at music festivals that like oh wear baby the, the EDM like, girls yeah like the, oh yeah with the, big the girls with daddy issues yeah we all know about <laughs> them. All right, <laughs> get get back to the match at hand. We've got a very nice pit clone here, but. Barney is very, very skilled with, I don't know, I think he just picks up a controller and he's like, I'm good now. <laughs> he's just, oh, it was foretold in the Smash forums that one day a, a player of his caliber would come out and in the, the prophecies in the are true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. In the Kamloops region, we have, <laughs> we have markings on our old temples. We don't have temples, but the rest of the world doesn't need to know this. We found him in Kennecar Rake Park. <laughs> A bar needs coming. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in a major made out of an N64. His soother was actually an N64 controller. <laughs> Diaper. Crafted out of the parts of Smash Bros. The original. It wasn't even out then. <laughs> <laughs> I think Russ has given them a run for his money, showing how, how technical he could be one. Oh, no. That's the thing, everyone can count Russ out, but the thing is he's so highly technical and you make one mistake and he can punish that so hard that the rest of your family will feel it and feel sad for you. Yeah. Like Therefore this is a counter And since this is going one on YouTube, equals they'll, one, they'll actually one like equals to one prayer. Yeah. <laughs> rest in <laughs> for for Russ's aim. Rest in spaghetti, oh, never oh, forget oh, <laughs> We both got at full rage here. This is very, very nice. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh. I'm surprised nobody went with edgy pit here just to kind of, you know, edge out the competition. But the thing about dark pit is if you try and cut your opponent, you might actually cut yourself. Yeah. And everyone knows it's not a phase. That is who he is now. We got, oh, oh baby! Rice with I've, another spike! I've been waiting for that all day. Oh, he can connect with those so hard. That's what we're talking about. The, tec the technicality of Russ here. He knows where his hitboxes are and he will use them. That's what makes him so dangerous. If you're playing a character that he's ever played, he knows where your attacks are and he knows where he can bait them out and where he can hide. I could just imagine the hours on Smash Forums that he's spent learning. He is characters. Smash Forums. I, I actually, I actually <laughs> he has an account. If you guys think this is good, check him out on Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. His comparing this to his Pokemon, he is a filthy casual. Nothing but a filthy, filthy casual. Oh, lots of ching, ching, Ooh. ching, ching, ching. I hear that money combo, but nothing happens. <laughs> the money combo. Pit. Oh. That jab attack. Though. Oh, oh baby. Oh. Pit pit a pit. How much pit could a pit pit pit? <laughs> we got. I don't know what's going on. We're, we're finding out right now. <laughs> filthy, just being McNasty. Goddamn, filthy I, I McNasty. I think he's trying to show his disrespect here. Yeah. Oh, did Barney go dumpy? Yeah. Wow, out of disrespect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the festival. There angels. might be another spike coming his way. <laughs> I, I, I want to see Rusty. Oh! Yeah. See what happens when you disrespect children? Bad things happen. Karma is a bitch and it will get you. 
All right, so we got well, two one, one for Barney I to here. Blow Fox. I went Fox, and then I was trying to diddle him, man. <laughs> I heard he was trying to diddle him. I don't know if I like the diddler. <laughs> we got I made Little the Mac. Same mistake that Barney is making earlier today. Little Mac versus Pit. <laughs> Has anyone heard of the term called dicking? Because it is gonna happen. But Barney, not. He doesn't use. The I mean, typical uh, Little Mac strategy of um, opening up with a side B on a shield and then subsequently dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is nice to see. I mean, oh wow. Uses an aerial effectively. <laughs> it's in the air. Oh, baby. Little Mac's so strong. If he's on the stage, he's going to smack you and you're going to feel that smack. But he does have little man complex, so that does that does turn into it. If Russ can get him where he wants him, I mean, Pitt can take. Oh, oh misplay. Both of the matches that have to happen in doubles. It's all about space. Yeah, but the thing is, Little Mac is so fast and does so much damage so quickly, and he's so volatile. Once he gets that KO punch, I mean, my goodness, dude. Lord Jesus, it's a fire, and once it's a fire, it's unstoppable. And so he just I mean, has to I'm, kind I'm, of bait. I'm this rooting out. for Russ here, but I want to. I don't. I don't. Punch. I do not like this. Oh baby! Oh. Ooh, whiff! He got a nice sniffer of it, but not, not enough to. Oh, dicking! Not enough dicking. I really want to see Russ come back here. Oh, it helps him out because Russ is just a nice guy. Yeah, <laughs> I think Filthy should just SD. Just Maybe that's his <laughs> oh, oh, it's all right. It's it's right. Just smash like, spot the yeah, Sakurai is actually watching this match, and he knew Filthy needed to die. Yeah, I think the problem that Russ has here is he's too nice. Yeah, he needs to just get in his face. See, the thing is, Filthy's body is ready, definitely ready. But if Little Mac kind of looks like Reggie, like a young Reggie, yeah. Reggie Steele. Oh. I would have gone for a back throw and just tried to dig out of it, but and he throws out oh, another taunt. Oh, Nobody wants to see Barnett win now. <laughs> he does the premature taunts a lot. He does a lot of premature, but <laughs> <laughs> moving on. <laughs> taunts oh, out of it again. He goes for the Air Mac, thinking he's Michael Jordan, but he is way too white. <laughs> Everyone knows white men cannot jump. <laughs> He plays, <laughs> plays the brownest version of Little Mac you can find. <laughs> Trying to get home. Trying to get home. <laughs> oh, stylish. Oh! <laughs> Sometimes being a dick pays <laughs> off. <laughs> no one can die. Commentary was a bit brash. I saw Barnett's commentary on Alex earlier. I think it was warranted. <laughs> Yeah. It was a very good match, though. Well, no I one can deny, me that, <laughs> deny that Barnett is a very, very, very strong okay, Spanish player. Kind of just uh, stop, plays yeah. everything. And that is, Sign off, dude. And that Sign is how up. the TRU finals end. With uh, Russ in second place and Barnett coming in a very well-earned first place. I, I got a well-earned 11th place behind Alex. Yes! It's those darn amiibos! <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Taco Del Mar. Thank you for the sponsor, Taco Del Mar. <laughs>